Can it see you? Mm -hmm. What's up, y'all? I'm about to do, make a make a. Uh, I'm about to do a recipe video. Y'all know I'm not as prepared as Stephanie, so y'all might see me moving the broom and uh, all kind of stuff out the way. I didn't want y'all to see these jalapenos back here, but whatever. I just bought them. Yeah. What up, y'all? Oh, uh, I'm about to uh, make something that I love. It's called a pan roast. This is my, my favorite food, and I say that about different things. All of them are my favorite. The chili cheese fries are my favorite food. Spaghetti is my favorite food. Pan roast is my favorite food, you know, stuff like that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the ingredients here because right now I just got some grapes that I'm eating on and stuff like that, and I'm going to show you guys what's all in it. Then I'm going to show you all the other stuff. All right, as you can see, I have some vermouth. I just found out what it was. I have clam juice, tomato sauce that I'm going to use, but I like to use um, tomatoes to make my sauce, but... You guys, tomato sauce is more than just tomatoes. They have onion powder and all kind of stuff in it, so whatever. I got some butter, onion, bell pepper, garlic, celery. Uh, don't need that. I got my Tony's, Slap Your Mama, paprika, black pepper, uh, heavy cream, Worcestershire, basil leaves. It's a lot, y'all. I have some chicken, some andouille, and some shrimp. Now this is how you make pan roast. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. Need a pound and a half of meat total. All right, y'all, I need a cup and a half of tomato sauce, so I'm gonna use these peeled tomatoes, and then I'm gonna pour this tomato sauce in with it, so it'd be like tomato sauce, but also these, these tomatoes are so good. All right, I lost one of my tomatoes in the garbage disposal. All right, y'all, so now I'm, I'm gonna melt three tablespoons of butter. Come on, come on. I'm doing this one hand, y'all. In my butter, I'm adding a cup of celery, a cup of onion, and sliced garlic. I'm gonna let that saute for five minutes. So I need two cups of chicken stock. I may not use it all. I'm gonna use this. This is better than bouillon chicken, but I'm also just gonna put a little bit of lobster base in it because this is seafoody kind of. I want a kind of seafood flavor, even though I'm putting the clam juice in there, whatever, who cares? I'm not making it a seafood thing, so whatever. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in there because I want to taste it. But don't don't do this, okay? Just make your chicken stock and move move along. And last but not least, y'all, you're gonna need a tablespoon and a half of jasmine rice. Yes, I said that. Yes, raw rice. Yes, but you're about to cook this. For 15 minutes until the rice is tender so it doesn't even matter turn it up on high let it cook for 15 minutes okay so while my um sauce is cooking cooking the rice i'm going to cook my meat i decided to cook them all separate so i'm just gonna i think i'm gonna cook the shrimp and sausage together though so i'm just gonna wait until this chicken is all the way cooked i'll make sure it's cooked but just until it's just done. And then, cause I'm still gonna let it sit in the sauce for 20 minutes. All right, I know y'all seen me put all that butter in the pot before and I'm about to do it again, but it's okay. A lot of the butter is not um, going into the food. I'm like pouring it out after I cook whatever. Oof. But the butter that is going, it's going in my body. It's not going in nobody's body but mine. And Stephanie, if she wants some. So two tablespoons of garlic, I'm gonna saute. Boom, boom. Ooh, that's so fragrant, right? Okay. So that seems fragrant to me. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my sausage in. Sorry, y'all. That's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna throw the shrimp in. How long, how long does it take shrimp to cook? Couple minutes. Couple minutes, okay. So I'm gonna cook this sausage. It don't even matter, but, cause it's already cooked sausage. Here's the spice blend I'm gonna use. It's gonna be a tablespoon of Old Bay. 
half a tablespoon of um, Slap Your Mama. Half a tablespoon of that. I'm actually going to use two teaspoons of paprika because I like the color. Okay. And I'm going to use, I would use more, but since Stephanie is eating with me, um, maybe Elijah, I'm going to use a teaspoon of black pepper, fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne. That was a lot, y'all. That was probably half. And I'm going to, um, I'm gonna use red pepper in my own in my own bowl. I'm gonna tell y'all something, okay? I need to put the camera on me when I tell y'all this. This is about to be so good. Y'all need to make it. That's all I'm gonna say. You have to make it. If you don't like it, cool, don't. But you gotta make it and taste it and tell me what you think, please. Also something else, y'all. I don't wanna take credit for this recipe. I did find it online. All right, now I can see what I was doing with the sauce, the rice, I mean. Um, I waited till it got soft. Now I'm blending it all up. But I do need to add some of the other ingredients. All right, you guys. So now I'm going to add two thirds of a cup of heavy cream. A little bit more because, you know, heavy cream is thick and it sticks to the sides. Okay. And one to three basil leaves. I'm just going to put, I have some fresh basil. I'm going to put about a tablespoon and we are going to blend her up y'all blend her up to make the creamy tomatoey pan roast that I love okay I got a 1% charge on my phone you guys I don't think I'm gonna keep doing this because I need to cook it basically what I'm about to do right now is saute I have some bell peppers I'm sauteing, I'm sauteing the bell peppers and then I'm just gonna pour everything into one pot so I hope y'all get that. Look, it's dark and, and I can't really show you. But I'll show you the end. I need to charge this phone. All right, the next thing you want to do is add your spice blend to the bell peppers and onions. I don't have a lot of time, y'all. This thing is dead. And you um you let that cook for about a minute. I put less butter. So if you put two tablespoons, I put one. If you put two tablespoons of butter in here, then it would be a little more, you know, wet. And you can tell that it's cooking but i don't care whatever i'm trying to cook the blend the spice a little bit so they say if you cook it it does something and i don't know if it's true or not but why not so i'll let this cook for one minute okay now i'm gonna add half a cup of this is clam juice y'all and you want that stuff at the bottom of the pot because it's always good you know always good so keep this on low though um you about to mix everything up in it anyway. One teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce and four tablespoons of vermouth. I already put four, you guys. Um, here it is. Four tablespoons of that. All right, then pour the soup back in. And the last thing I need to do is add the meat. There's a lot of butter in here, but I'm gonna go on and throw it in there. I'm going to throw the butter in there. All right, so. And you cook this up. I would let this cook for 15 minutes. And then you're ready to go. I mean, I do. I have a lot of sauce here. A lot of extra sauce. No, it's not. I don't even know if it's extra sauce or not. I don't know, y'all, but this is good. So make this. Tell me how you liked it. Tell me if you didn't like it. Put it over rice. Put it over grits. Don't put it over anything. Let it be keto. You guys will see me eating this on the mukbang. I hope I can make it look good because it's just a, I guess I can get some bread and just dip. I don't know, y'all. But I'll see y'all. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, nah, this ain't no clickbait. Enjoy your life, live it up. Don't let anybody get in your way. Like, share, and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. And put on your seatbelt, cause it's one hell of a ride.